The question, why do I get lightheaded dizzy during takeoff and turns on an airplane? Why do I get lightheaded slash dizzy during takeoff and turns on an airplane? It is vertigo. As I understand it, it is caused when you eyes and inner ear are perceiving conflicting information. Inside an airplane, you subconsciously see the environment around you, the floor, walls, seats, and other people fixed like on the solid, unmoving ground. And yet the airplane is moving and your inner ear is detecting movement that does not correlate with your eyesight. It happens to me sometimes too. When flying, I always like to get a window seat, and that never, ever was a problem because I like to look outside, mesmerized by the views. Once I was sitting in the middle of a wide body 10 wide seating of a jumbo jet, and I started to get that dizzy feeling. Over time, it can make me nauseated and it will last for hours after the flight. What I did to prevent it was keep looking out the windows on either side towards the horizon, and like magic seeing the horizon moving like my ears were sensing prevented this dizziness. Now I have piloted airplanes and driven cars and boats, and never, ever once had this vertigo. That was because I was always looking out the window and my ears and eyes received the same messages. When I am a passenger, if I spend too much time looking at a book, phone, or other reading while moving, I can become dizzy. So I avoid doing that for long, and continue to look outside. I even heard of a story of astronauts in orbit, although I don't recall who this was. He was fine floating in zero G, going about his activities, when he looked up out the window above his head. Expecting to see sky like we normally do when looking up, he instead saw the earth above him. Suddenly the world was upside down for him. Immediately he got seasick, with the resulting activity that can cause a hem. Now I am no doctor or flight surgeon, but my best advice for somebody who is experiencing this problem in flight or at sea, is to get a view of the horizon or some outside reference, that will allow you to see what your inner ears are detecting, and it may keep it from happening or getting worse. If that doesn't work, and I think it will, then resort to more involved measures.